All right, in this video, I'm going to show you the um, how to use the area model in order to divide a problem. Uh, so basically, whenever I see 583 divided by 4, or some sort of division problem like this, I think of, first off, I remember that, okay, well, that looks like this in the traditional way of doing it. But then the other thing I think about is, basically, this is kind of like saying we've got a rectangle and that rectangle has an area of 583. And we know that the height of that rectangle is 4, and our job is to figure out what is the width of that rectangle. So that's what I think of when I see a division problem. So let's get started. So let's say we know the height of this rectangle. Of course we do, it's 4. And since we know that the entire area of this rectangle is 583, we can uh, kind of chunk it up a little bit. So we can say, well, let's take this rectangle and cut it, not into equal halves, but let's just cut it into two smaller rectangles. And l I'm going to say, well, if the width of this rectangle right here is 100, and we know the height of that rectangle is 4, that means the area of this this rectangle right here is 400 and so we subtract and we get 183 units of area left over so that means this blue area right here is has an area of 400 and that leaves us with 183 units of area left over and now I can say well let's see let's take this rectangle and cut it up into two pieces and I'll say well let's make this width of this rectangle right here 40 and if I do that the height of this rectangle is still 4 so 40 times 4 is 160 and I subtract and that gives me 23 units of area left over so that means right here this area of this skinny little rectangle is 23 and so we know that this piece right here has 160 so let's see this big rectangle over here is 400 this rectangle right here has an area of 160 and we know this last tri uh, rectangle has an area of 23 so what is the width of this rectangle well if the height is 4 and the width is uh, uh, the area is 23, that means we can say, well, the area, the width of that rectangle would be 5. So 5 times 4 is 20. We subtract. We have three little units of area left over. Uh, so sure enough, so that tells us that the answer to this question is we're going to add all of these up, and we get 145 with three units left over. So this answer is 145 remainder 3. And if we wanted to check it, well, first off, one way to check it is this down here. We know that the area of the blue rectangle is 400. The area of the green rectangle is 160. And the area of the red rectangle is uh, 23. So if we wanted to, we can add those up. And sure enough, we get the 583 that we started with in the first place. Another way to check is we know that the width of the blue is 100, the width of the green is 40, and the width of the, five, of the red is 5. So this total rectangle, the huge rectangle in total, has a width of 145 and a height of 4. So if we wanted to, we could do 145 times 4, and that gives us 16, 17, 18, 100, 580, uh, which is not the 583 we started with, but that's because we had a remainder of three little units left over, and there's our 583. So that's a second way that we can verify that we got the right answer. So that is how to use the area model in order to divide.